Hello, everybody, and welcome back to What's Happening. My name is Z Garcia. It's Monday. Let's get to it. All right. <clears throat> On the docket today is Concordia Digital Edition, as you see here, and I've got a couple of the maps that they include, which are free, currently free anyway. So I might be messing with one of those alternate maps besides the ones that came in the box. Before we do any of that, Hula Baloo, let's check out some comments, make sure you can see me, you can hear me, that everybody who is supposed to be here is here. I'm taking roll call. Loopy, here. Mike Heller, here. Loopy again, oh. Potato stew. Yes. Tommy Miller. <laughs> All right, there's a lot of the usual suspects in here. The Guzz Buzz is here, y'all. What's up, Joey? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. All right, let's see, folks. What's going on? Good morning, good morning. David M says, all good, Z. Okay, audio is good. Kevin Wallace says, Z, what do you rate Concordia? Physical game. It's my favorite game. Uh, I don't recall. Seven or an eight. It's good. I don't, I no longer own it. I used to, but yeah, it's solid. It's also been ages since I played it though. And the last time I played it was digital, which also has been a while. So FYI, I will probably be relying on you, Kevin, to... Help me out with rules or dumb questions I have or stuff like that. So stick around. Help me out with that in the chat. SW Crusader says, super excited for Dex Tower West, our first DT. Very nice. Pips in Space says, what if I'm not, what if you're not supposed to be here? That's okay. That's okay. We got extra room. You know what? Come on in. The water's fine. Loopy says, I gave it an 8.2. Loopy, you're rating games on a 100-point scale? That's wild sauce. Oh, good call, Josh. Good call. Josh gave it a 1.8 to counteract that. Because you're too much of a fan, Loopy, okay? Monica's here. Now we can start. Class can start now, kids. <laughs> All right. Uh. Oh, kids, it's Monday. It's Monday, kids. Did everybody do their homework? If not, just do it now. Do it now in class while I take a nap. All right, <clears throat> local game, creating a new game. When did I play this last? Okay, there we go, it was, that was not long ago. No, no, that was today, okay, I'm, I'm a dummy. I'm, I wrote over it. Um, all right, here we go, so the different types of games I can play here, Imperium Romanum is one of the ones that comes in the game, right? And then, Italia comes in, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Those two come in the game, like base game. And then alternate maps are the uh, Corsica and Gallia there. And then there's all these other ones that you can buy, which again are like alt alternate maps, what have you. Salsa. I'm going to try one of the ones that is smaller just for to see how that goes. So like this one. Ooh, that's a little baby one. Maybe I'll do that one. 25, which is the same as these other ones. Yeah. All right, what do we got? Wolf Force says greetings from Portugal. Hello. Taka, 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 taka. Y'all copying each other's uh, homework. Mm -mm -mm. No Iberia? 
Iberia, 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 Iberia. I'm not seeing it. And anyway, no, I don't have it. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Next, it'll be, what does that mean, base game? Yeah, base game, none of the other ones. Show opponent's card, sure. Alternate start, alternative start, rather. 25 coins, no, we're not going to do that. All right, here we go. So I will be human. For today, I'm going to go ahead and be human. And this is going to be... This is going to be Vasilia. There we go. And this is going to be... Delici. Oh. D. Li. Uh, C. Nina. And me. I will be Setagrina. That's me. There we go. Let's light it up. <clears throat> Boom. All right, so starting city, da -da -da, architect. The rivers are treated as sea lines. And for the clarity of the rules, they are referred to as such. Special land line. There's one right there. This map contains a special land line where land colonists can cross the sea. They need to spend one movement point as usual, but they cannot stand on it. Fine, you can't stop there. Harbor City. Sea colonists in the starting space can not move until the player built a house in one of the six port cities. Marked with the anchor symbol. Once the house is constructed, the sea colonists are immediately transferred to that city. Interesting. Okay. I am good. Let's see what happens. All right. So again, it's been quite a while here. I went ahead and played this in top down mode as opposed to isometric just to help me out. I've got, um, let's see, if I click up here, this shows me my victory points, the log, the province summary for all of the provinces, the map, I guess is what that is. Okay, and then here is cards. At the bottom is my, is my storage. This is players and victory points and whatnot. Okay. The display of cards I can buy, I guess, is up here. Yeah, okay, right. Okay. So far, so good. Where's the display of goods? I don't know that one. Anywho. Alright, let's take a look at these cards here. So Tribune, obviously, is the one that gets them all back for me. Oh, I don't need to do that. Architect. I get to move my colonists. I may place one. Uh, sorry, I may uh, move one for each on the board. Then I can build cities. Prefect, producing an active province. I get the, a good from the bonus market marker, rather. Or I can take coins. So I can take goods, or I can take coins and flip them all back. Right. This is going to give me some cash and let me take two trades. I can sell or buy two types of things. Okay, copy somebody else's top discard. Purchase new peeps. Okie dokie. Where am I at? I'm right here. Whoop. Okay. Todd, you're having trouble with your sound? Everybody else is hearing me, I, I think. Tried it. <laughs> Alright. I am going to... Move.
I'm going to move from here. Do I have the goodies? I do indeed, I do indeed. That is one. That's all the move I get. Oh, I have one left, okay. I will go to this one. Yes. I'm gonna go there, blam. And then I can build in one of these two neighboring places. Let's do that. I put my house out there, I spend my goodies. Bam, I love it. Okay. Then my opponents are doing their thing. Wait, did my man really just play Tribune? Doesn't make any sense. Oh, I guess they just want more people. All right. I am going to... No, All right, no, Senator lets me buy cards. I do like that. Let's take a look. Produce in an active province. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let's buy some cards. So again, this one here is producing in a province. But then also then the bonus is for Minerva or what has a Turnus is uh, Why aren't you showing me that? Can't afford that. Da, 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 da. I want to buy this one. How do I do this? Mm-hmm. It'll be that one. Bam, bam, I bought two cards, they go right into my hand. Vasalia! Sound is good, okay, no issues, yeah. Come on, Todd. All right, there we go. Time to play a card. So I've got so many of these. Goodness. All right, I might as well start using them. Produce. Yes, let's do that. So really, I should be building another, but I, I gotta do it. Okay. This one, the only one I'm in. I will confirm that. Look it up. All right, all oh, this jerk built next to me. That's my province. I will destroy you. I am going to do it again. Oh, here it is. Here's what I was looking for. What you can build and which ones have been turned over to money already. Yes. Okay. Come on. So if I do it again, I do need to put more people out. Not that. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry, let me just look at these guys and what's on top of their decks. 
Okay. I could do that. I could produce. Let me look over here. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is actually use the architect that he's got on top, Vasilia. Not that one. No, yes. I'll do that, and I'm going to do Architect. And I get two moves. Let me see if there's anything I'll be able to build here. Uh, this might not be the best time for this. Brick, steel. Brick and steel. I think that's something viable right now. Again, I'm like super rusty at this. Can I now move up here? I thought I already built in a city that had the... There we go. Alright, I'm doing that. And then unfortunately I cannot build there. So that's fine. I will skip that. And I am done. That means I need to get some brick. And then I can build up there. Alright, he's getting all his goodies back. That's me. I'm going to go ahead and play this, where I'm going to select this and sell it, sell two of that, and then I'm going to select this and buy it, and I'm going to buy two of that. There we go. I have, I could produce brick and all my brick makers. No, no bueno. And this is production. And this is what I want. So I'll take everything back. Ah. Uh, Okay, that's fine. I'm so bad at this, it's been forever. So Kevin is saying, I wish uh, physical Concordia had the art on the cards. Like the, this artwork here is not on the cards, it has the writing. And I agree with you that this art is great, but not having the writing would be a total pain. So I'm, I'm happy to give up the, the artwork here just so that the card describes very much what it does and, and so it's just, it's just easier. Wait, what happened? Did I actually play that? Whoops. I think I skipped the turn, basically. All right, my bad, my bad. <clears throat> Alright, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, ba da da. I'm gonna pick this guy, he's gonna go there, I'm done, I'm gonna build right there. There we go. Buying and selling, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, it's not bad. I'll take the cash. So the more you drain these provinces of goods, whenever you activate in a province, which I'm about to do again, actually. I'm going to go ahead and do it again here. And I pick a province. I activate it right here. It says producing an active province, meaning one that hasn't been drained already. And then I gain the goods and I get a bonus. So everybody in there actually gets the goods. 
of wherever they are. So if I have a little house somewhere, I get the good that they produce. Iron, brick, uh, grain, whatever. And then after you do that, you take that little tile that's there and you flip it over and on the back there is coins, one or two or three coins. And so the other option then is just count up all the ones that have already been drained that have coins on the back, get all that money and reset them all so that they can be drained again for the goods. So that's what I did first, which is why the money amount dropped. It went all the way down. It was nine coins I got for that and they all came back. So now I'm going to go ahead and do this and uh wait why uh, these are turned off already my bad never mind uh, how do i tell if it's been drained oh it's got the banner with the yeah okay okay fine fine I need to build more places. Grain over here. Grain over here. I also need more people out on the board. Hmm. -hmm. That's dumb. Let's see what's up. I do like that first one. I do have the steel for it. I hate going up here and buying a single card. But I might. I'm going to take that and I don't think I can afford any of the others. So boom. I'm buying that. And now I have more cards. Obviously, like I said, as you play cards, they stay out until you play the one that brings them all back up. All right. Let's see here. Tribune. No. Possibly. If I can build. I have a brick and a cloth. Way down here, there's a brick and claw that still has not been built into. I also need to put out more of my characters on the map. For one thing, they'll let me move more. Are my provinces still turned off? Yes, fine. I'll take the money. Alright, he's recalling all his cards back up. This person's recalling. The Lisi Nina. The Lisi Nina. What am I doing? How do I get another human? out there I think it's when I do this I need grain and I need steel I have neither one of those things let's do that I want to do this I want to do this one bam and from that I get a bunch of steel it's my turn let's go to the market I'm going to sell steel. Nope. Go back. Sell two of that for 10. And I'm going to buy grain. Buy it for one. Donezo. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and recall my hand. Boop. And now that I'm done taking everything back, now I can pay for a new person. Right here. And I choose which kind I want. Sea kind or land kind. I'm going to go ahead and do the land kind. Spend those two goods. And they're out there. 
finally I have somebody else to move and plus when I move now I get because I own two people on the map two steps which I can split however I want to all right he's draining that let's take a look where was I hoping to go I wanted to go down here I have the coins I very much have the coins so I'm doing this one. No, uh, where's that foot? Where's that foot at? That one, I get to move two steps. One, two. I have one more. Okay, right. So three steps. Uh. I'm gonna do there. Okay, three steps, and then I get to build. I could build here with those goodies. Blammo! There we go. Mm hmm. I agree with you, Kevin. I, uh, you, you're saying I agree the writing needs to be there, but I wish there was something, a little something to spruce them up. I agree. They're very plain. I think it hurts the game's look and kind of just the, the vibe of it. All right, let's take a look. I need to see what my scoring is coming from. Hey, hey, hey. Where is it? Um, no, no, no. How do I see the other kinds? Isn't one of these giving me scoring for something? Why can't I see it? No, okay. Let's take a look up here. I want to score points for making grain, for grain places. I don't have any good, so I don't know why I'm looking up there. I need to produce. Let's take a look. I'm guessing one of my provinces is good to go. I could do it up here. Get a bunch of steel from that. Um, and I could do it in this one. Where I will get cloth from that. Let's do that. Two cloth, the bonus one and the city I'm in. Could work with that. Then I'll do the other one. Oh, sorry. Uh, why can't I do this? Oh, no, 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 no. That one. That one. And I get to steal from that. Not, I get to steal. I get to steal. There we go. I got some goodies now. I'm definitely falling behind with my scoring. Let's take a look at these cards. Um... Uh, I could buy that architect. That's pretty good. It gets me the Jupiter, and I can buy that one as well, the consoles. Let's do that. So, this one, and this one. Oh. And I will show you what those cards are in one second. So this one here, oh. Alright, so this one here is I get to purchase one without any additional costs. Meaning, the cost across the bottom, I just pay what's on the card. If you look up here, you see what I'm talking about. The card has a cost, there's an additional cost at the bottom. I can buy one only, but without that additional cost. And then, the other one was... What was the other one I bought? I don't know. I bought another one. <clears throat> Why can't I see the writing on my cards, like the bonus on my cards?
That's kind of important for me to know what I'm scoring bonuses on. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> Just checking what y'all are talking about. Okay. Let's take a look. I have a bunch of money. I have literally no resources. I need to make some resources. Let's go ahead and do that. I don't think any of my provinces are active. No. This one up here is active. Okay. I am going to... Ooh. What is this number here? I can't. I have a hard time seeing the top cards that my opponents have played. I don't know what this weird cat thing got played is. Place new colonists in your cities or take five plus one for colonist. Okay, that's what it does. Got it. I don't need that. I don't really want to trade. I think I'm just recalling my hand. All right. I am doing terribly. Actually, I'm not doing that horribly for not knowing what I'm doing. I'm only behind eight points or so. Not the worst. All right, let's go ahead and do some of that. They still haven't cashed in these places. So I'm doing it. 11 coins? Don't mind if I do. Sucker. Okay, okay. I'll take it. Alright, let's see. Where else can I build? There's a brick one over here next to the ship. I can build there for grain and a coin. That's that's cheap and easy. Um, there's one over here for grain and a coin as well. Another brick. I think I just need some grain. So, I will do that. I will buy it. I need to just buy a bunch of stuff, I think. Buy grain. Buy two grain, at least. Give me three. And then something else. What else am I buying? What else y'all selling? Uh, grain over here. Let me get some brick real quick. I'm buying that too. Now we're talking. Now I have the goodies I need. I'm sitting on all this cash. I'm not spending it. I'm hoarding the cash. Let's go. Whoops. Let's, let's do it. Let's buy things. I'm gonna go here for one. I'm gonna move, where's my other dudes at? You move there for one. What are you doing up here? What are you doing? You move there for one, I'm good. Now I'm gonna buy it all. I want that.
Wait, I can only buy one with up. I want to build in there, and I want to build in there. That's good. Yes. Now we're talking. Now we're cooking with lighter fluid. Let's go. All right, now it's time for me to produce some goods. Let's see, which of my provinces am I absolutely rocking it in? This is good right here. Let's do that. I'm, I'm shooting up. I have 61 points right now. Hello. I'm doing great. Can I build again? I have the, I have the goodies. Let's do it again. All right, what have I got? What have I got here? I got brick. I've got wine and cloth. Or silk, I guess. Um, I don't have grain. I love some, some grain. I can build up here, so I don't need to move this guy. I can build right there where that wine is. And I can build there, even though it's going to be quite costly. If I can get to it. Steel, I don't have steel. This guy already built there, built there. So if I do this guy, I can come down here. There we go, I'm done moving. And I'm gonna build here. And I'm gonna build here. Yes! 73 points. Deal with that reality. Vasalia, I will destroy you. Why do I sound like Dracula dead and loving it? I am going to... All I'm doing is producing, consuming. That's the basis for a good economy. You produce, you consume. You produce, you consume. Let's activate a good place. Okay. I'm not in there. I am down here. I get two cloth. And then blue down here, right here. I get the cloth in my city, Narbo Martius. And then the bonus for the region. Blue would make that brick on my dime. I'm not happy about that. If I do this one here, Galia, Indonesia, I don't know what that says, uh, then I get two cloth as well, but nobody else gets anything. And you know what? That's the way I like it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Also, I could probably sell cloth now. I have a lot of it. Okay, let's see about buying some cards. What's going on? I have no brick, no wine. These bonuses here are for each province in which you have at least one house. So I want to buy all of that. I, I need to buy grain, I need to buy wine if I want those two. Got it. Can I do that? Do I still have my trading card? What is this? Producing, okay. Which one is... I don't know what kind of card that is! I need grain and wine. Obviously, I, I want to do that, but not yet. 
Can I buy just one of these? No, I don't have the wine for that. Yes, I do. I can buy this one. Let's do that. And I can buy this one. Just one card, but I don't have to pay the bottom cost. Hey -o! All right, let's do it. I'm going to go ahead and take... Y'all are copying each other. That's what they did. Okay, fine. I'm going to recall my stuff then. Give me a bunch of goodies. Okay, I don't have the goods to put out a colonist, so that's fine. All right. And now I can buy some, or I can, yeah, buy some resources, what I need. Let's take a look. So these two cards are still what I want. I need that grain, and I need that uh, wine. So if I get that, I should be good. That's this one, yes. Boom. I want grain. I'm going to buy it. I want one of them. I want wine. I want to buy it. I want one of them. I am done. Nobody buy those cards. Don't you buy those cards. Delicinina. There we go. Now it's time for me to buy some cards. I'm going to play that. I go up here to the top and I buy some cards. I'm going to buy this one. I'm going to buy this one. Oh, both of those, they give me an ability that I can play from my hand, but also end game scoring at the bottom. So that would be good. And once those cards at the top run out or somebody has built all their little places, then the game is over and it's, it's going to be the cards running out. Let's take a look. I need some uh, Jupiter card. That's pretty good. I'll do that. I'm going to use this guy to buy that Jupiter card at the end without paying the double cloth. And so, there it is. Boop. You guys are going to get crushed. All right. Hmm. I think we need to make some goodies. 13 coins? Yes. I will reactivate it all. What do these need? Ooh, I could buy that. Can I buy that? Do I still have the... Uh, I could copy somebody else's. I still don't know what they are. What is this here? See, I don't, I don't care for that. Hmm. I could do this one purchase one up here. I'm only buying one anyway. This one. Oop. And again, when that last card up there gets bought, that's pretty much game right there. Doing very well so far. There we go. That got taken. That's the last round. <laughs> Delicinina triggered the end of game. And they got seven points? Jerk. Hmm. Let's take a 
a look at some of these costs out here. All right, I'm going to produce somewhere juicy. Where am I and nobody else? Right there. That was my last round. Vesalia takes the last round. And then we sell everything in our storage, which the game does. It's beautiful. I have 115 points, which is a winning score to second place, 113. Delicinina is a wonderful combatant and opponent to Vesalia with 91 points, a disappointment. Uh, and the shame of the old world. There we go, folks. That is Concordia with one of the alternate maps, which I think is pretty sweet. That was good. I like that map. I I assume, correct me if I'm wrong here. I'll, I'll get out of here and take a look at it. Uh, main menu. <laughs> so I assume then, just to take a look, Right here. So, again, the top one here, this map at the top, and the second one, the Italy one, are base game maps, right? Again, somebody who knows more than me, tell me if that's correct. I think that's right. And then I just downloaded these two, which are free. If you have the app, these are, they said free. So it was this one, this is what I just played on. Two to five players, very similar actually to the Italy one. Except it goes down to two, I like that. And then the Corsica one here, it's two to three players, Fewer things to build, kind of a punchier game, it sounds to, to me. And I'm assuming these two come in an expansion, Gali and Corsica. All right. Base game is Mediterranean and Italy, right? Okay, good. There we go, that and that, which was, those are good, but they're a little bit better for a larger group of players. So like if I was gonna play with two or three, obviously, neither one of those works. But then the expansion, this one, which I'm very interested in trying, I might do that next time. And this one, which I just played, seemed like they would handle Two, three, really, really well. Like the one I just played, Galia, there. That was solid with three. Plenty going on. A lot of fighting for controlling places and having majorities in places so that when you, you know, reap the goods, mostly you get goods. But not too, yeah, not too loose, not too tight. That, that sounded right. So I'm interested in, yeah, if those are then a pack that's sold together, these two, Corsica and Galia. That's a sweet expansion if you find yourself often playing with a lower player count. Very good. So, anywho, I like that. It's been a while since I played, like I said. But I, uh, I do enjoy it. It's a tricky game. Uh, somebody said a little while ago it looks like a combat game. Like it's going to be a clashing, you know, troops on a map kind of game. And it's just not. It's it's an economic game through and through and, and an interesting one. It's a very clever, clever game. Violent Frog here says, Corsica looks like a knife fight in a phone booth. I agree with that. Look at that. But it's for two or three. That's wonderful for two players. Man, that's fantastic. I would love to try that with two. And in fact, like I said, I think I will do that next time I play this app try it myself versus uh maybe Vasselia, the lesser of the nations and see how i do all right folks that's gonna do it for me today that was a fairly long stream it's a it's a thinky game but that's gonna do it thank you very much y'all for tuning in and hanging out with me for a little bit i appreciate it i hope you have a fantastic monday and a great rest of your week 
Make sure you stick around for all the goodies we've got coming for you this week with, of course, a Q&A, but then top tens, videos galore, reviews, what have you. Uh, and that's going to do it, folks. Have a fantastic day. I am out of here. Have a good one. Bye.